Hi, uh, today I'm going to do a very short, quick tutorial on how to install the Betaflight CAC firmware on your drone. So you need the Betaflight Configurator, uh, preferably the latest version, or uh, in my case I'm using the Betaflight Configurator 10.9.0. Uh, also make sure that your computer or your laptop is also connected to the internet. So I'm going to connect my drone to the Betaflight Configurator. So make sure that once you're already in Betaflight, make sure that you already enable expert mode in Betaflight Configurator. And the first thing that you need to do is to back up your drone uh, existing configuration. So to do that, go to CLI and just type diff all. And then also make sure that you take note that the model of your uh, flight controller, like in my case, it's Foxier F722 V4. Okay, so, and then you save the configuration file. So, the next thing you need to do is reconnect your flight controller to Beta Flight, go to the setup tab, and then uh, get the uh, drone to go into the um, DFU mode. Now, once you are in the DFU mode, go to the firmware flasher. So, the next thing you do is to show release candidates and enable expert mode. And now, the next thing you need to do is choose development. I have the my flight controller uh, selected here. And then, from the list, as you can see, there's already CAC Special Release version 4.4.2. So this is the version uh, firmware that you need. So choose that. Do a full chip erase. Uh, in my for my drone, I don't. I just using you know, LRS, so I just need CRS radio protocol. I don't need GPS. Uh, I don't need LED strip. Uh, I leave OSD, SD and HD in. PNIO, I don't need that, and also I, I, I read the VTX. So I'm using this. You, you can choose whatever options that you want depending on your drone setup. So next thing to do, just load the firmware. Let it download the firmware for a while. You can see the cloud is building the uh, firmware. And the next thing you do is flash the firmware. So, see, we ask you to confirm uh, because this is not like an official uh, firmware development uh, category. So, just accept it and flash. Once you have successfully um, uh, flashed the new firmware, okay. The first thing you need to do now is go to the preset tab and load backup. And so what you do now is just select the you know the diff file that you saved earlier. So this will load back all the configuration that you have previously, the original uh, setup that you have on your drone. So pretty much the basic part is already done. So now a few things that you need to set up for a uh, spec race. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is to go to the OSD tab. So, so this is my setup for my OSD. But in for this case, what you need to do is you need to activate this one element. Uh, it's called the uh, debug. So, so you need to enable debug. You can see this one is. You can see this 
uh, OST element DB, DBG which is, stands for debug you need to enable that and just put it somewhere on your OST um, I like to put it both bottom over here um, and another part of OST that you need to enable is you need to go under post flight statistic you need to enable ESC RPM maximum uh, under CAD firmware, there are also some other elements. Um, you can also enable this under 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is just to show you know, um, how many CACs you you, uh, you know record during a flight. But this is not necessary. Uh, like I said, the most important part is just need to make sure that you have debug uh, enabled on your SD. Put it somewhere on your this, uh, 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 OSD and also the ESC RPM maximum. So the next thing you need to do, so you have to save this. So the next thing you need to do is go to CLI and type set debug. You can just select mode equals. You can see here, you, you can scroll down. There's this, or you can just type RPM limit so set debug mode equals rpm limit and save so you are pretty much done um, so you can uh, go and test out your quad um, and see uh, later on show you how the uh, it was it looks under the cat firmware So you go to the receiver tab and you, you can see there's this section where you can set your stick load threshold, stick center and stick high threshold. By default, normally the stick low will be 1000, stick center 1500 and stick high 2000. Um, in my case, for my drone, for whatever reason, if I leave the stick high threshold at 2000, then uh, somehow or other my quad was not able to reach the maximum RPM set in the CAD firmware. So I need to set the uh, stick hole threshold uh, a few points below 2000. So for in my case, just to be on the safe side, I set it, set it up at 1995, uh, 1995. So that's the only thing. If you face a problem where your quad is not able to reach the maximum RPM limit, then this is one of the uh, troubleshooting steps that you can try to solve the problem. So other than that, that's about it. So uh, now that you have installed the CAC firmware, so you can see that with the CAC firmware, the OSD looks slightly different. You can actually see that the version of the CAC firmware is displayed in the OST. So it's version 4.43 RPM CAC V6. So to go into the uh, menu, it's just as normal beta flight uh, OST menu. So it's your left pitch up. Uh, you can see that the menu also is slightly different than normal beta flight. So the, on the first row, you have the RPM limit. So over here, for instance, you can activate or deactivate uh, the rpm limit so you can go yes or no so if you want to use R, uh, rpm limit just select yes the next element is the maximum rpm so this is what is the uh, spec race required so if let's say the race says that you need uh, the race gonna run at 18,000 maximum rpm 18,000 so you have to change your rpm accordingly to 18,000 based on the race requirement um, another step is to to configure your KV, model KV. This is very, very important. Um, in, like in my case, my drone is using the 1960 KV model, so I configure that as 1960 KV. So if you're using a different model, maybe like, a, you know, maybe 2020, then you change the KV to whatever the model KV that you have on your drone. So the next thing you do is just save and reboot.
So another part that during the tutorial I'll show that you already uh, activated the debug element. So it's on the, in my case I have it on the bottom side of my um, OSD. So just to check that it's running. So I power on, you can see on the bottom side that's the motor RPM. So if I go full throttle, as you can see the motors will just hover around 18,000, even at maximum. So that's how it works. And the post after you disarm, you can see the maximum ESC RPM recorded is 18,071. So that's what's the requirement for the or how to set up your RPM motors. So again, if you go to menu, you can deactivate your RPM limit, save and reboot, and now the RPM limit is deactivated. You can see the RPM limit says off, total limit is off. So now if I arm my quad and go full throttle, okay, it doesn't show in debug anymore because you're not deactivated. But if you go to my maximum ESC RPM, you can see now it's recorded at 47,000. Obviously without the propellers, it can reach 47,000 RPM, uh, 47,000 RPM. Otherwise with RPM, with propellers, I will get about 37,000 uh, RPM. So that's how uh, CAD firmware on the RPM motors, uh, RPM limit works on the firmware. Thank you.